Hello there and welcome to Linux Studio. And in this guide, I'm gonna show you how you can install Wine and set it up to use Windows applications inside a Linux distribution. The guide is pretty simple. Just follow along me and you will be able to set it up properly. So let's get started. First of all, you want to open up your browser and go to winehq.com and it's actually winehq.org. So just type winehq.org and slash download. Hit enter and this will open up the page. Here you can see there are a bunch of options available like if you want to install on Android, Debian based distributions, Fedora and Ubuntu. So this is Ubuntu. So Ubuntu and Ubuntu based distributions like Debian, Mint and Kali Linux, Ubuntu, X Ubuntu, Elementary OS. So these all are the distributions that are most widely used and for that you can follow this guide. So you just click on this Ubuntu option here and here is this guide so i'm just going to copy these all commands from here and run in the terminal so this is the terminal and here is the first command so this is for adding the 32-bit architecture in the linux distro so if your distro does not have the architecture then you can run this command either way you just run this command and this will do its thing just type in the password and this has enabled the 32-bit architecture now we need to get the key, the signing key so that we can install and add the repo in the system. So copy this command and paste it here and hit enter. This will download the key and uh, add the key in the system. Now we can add a repository. So a repository is a place where the application is actually stored and from there we download the application. And in order to download that application, we have to authenticate that application is right, the one that we want to install. So we have added the key and now we have to add repo. So this is latest Ubuntu 20.04. So that is why I'm going to add this repo here and you can add the repo as per your Linux distributions. Usually you just have to add the latest repo on the top. That's what most of the people use. Hit the enter and uh, this will add the repo and uh, update the system. So this has added the repo and updated the system. Now you can run the command to install any of these three options that you get. So this is the stable. So this is the version that you should have because it is the most stable. Then this is the beta version, the development branch, and this is the staging version, a more kind of alpha branch that you can add. So I'm just going to install the stable one here. So just copy and paste the command, hit the enter. So this will download around 134 megabyte of data and then it will take around 1 gig of your internal space and configure everything in the system. While it is downloading, I'm just going to grab an exe file. So I'm going to download Notepad++, a very popular text editor for Windows. So this is the Notepad++ website. I'm just going to click on the Notepad++ 7.8.6 release. And uh, I'm going to download uh, the package file from here. So this is the installer, it is 3.6 megabyte and uh, I can save it in the system. So it is downloaded. This one is also about to complete. So the installation has just completed and I'm just going to press Ctrl L to clean the terminal. And I'm going to the downloads folder where I have downloaded the Notepad++. So I'm just going to see downloads. And here is the exe file that I want to install with Vine. So I can type Vine and uh, the file name. I can hit the tab key to auto complete the file name. I will hit enter and this will execute the Vine. So for the first time, it has to download some additional files. So this is a uh, mono file that needs to be downloaded so i will click install and it will download it and install in the system and uh, the speed depends on your internet connection so if you have a faster internet connection then the downloading will take only few seconds it also have to download this another file so i'm just going to hit install again and it will install this file and this only needs to be done for the first time because it has to configure the Vine and have 
all the files that are required for the next time when you will install executable file it will not download any kind of file it just skip to the in installer so it has downloaded the required file and uh, you can see a regular windows installer now i can select the language from here and i can hit ok i can click next i agree and then next and then next and then next and this will install like a regular application and i can finish it and this will open up the notepad plus plus so here is a windows application running inside linux that way you can run almost all kind of application and you can also run your games so that was it on how to install bind in a linux distribution and use it to run windows application i hope you find it helpful if you did then don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux